by MTV. So you have two projects. Uh, if it's mutually exclusive, means you can only pick one. Then you pick the one with the higher MPV. Don't use IR anymore. IR only tell you when MPV will be zero. So you cannot compare the two projects based on IR. You can base on payback period. Only if you have if you have to make decisions between two projects, compare the two projects, MPV. The higher the better. Choose the one with higher MPV. Because it's more profits. You you, you add more value to the firm with a higher MTV. So if it's mutually exclusive project, but if they are, if Walmart has money to open stores in both locations, then take both if both are profitable. So if they are independent project, you take both. Okay, now let's do, let's do, we have two projects, it's only one year project, A and B, so Compare only you have limited capital which one you can only pick one you can only pick one based on MTV project MPV this is one project another one is uh, So, so I got two projects. So, what's your decision? One is, one is a uh, uh, seventy-two for MPV. Don't compare IR. Compare MPV. Seventy-two. Another one is two hundred twenty-seven. So, we should choose this one, higher MPV. Yeah. Uh, you have mutually exclusive. Pick the one with higher MPV. Yeah. So, no question, right? Chris and Tristan. Second one. So, what do you think? Initial outlay has to be a negative cost of capital. You can think this is a return or this is a this is discount rate. This is the required rate return, whatever. It's also asking you for crossover rate, but let's do calculate MPV and calculate the IRR. Uh, no, calculate the MPV and which one is higher? The first one. MPV is higher, right? And then so if if it's mutually exclusive, we should choose A. But if independent, we should choose all MTV positive projects. So we should choose both A and B. And uh, so it's no problem, right? <coughs> and the next one, crossover rate. At this rate, uh, at what rate? Crossover rate definition is at that rate, both MPV will be the same. So both project MPV are the same. At what rate? Both project MPV are the same. 
How can you do that? So, so I'll tell you how to do that. I won't work out mathematically on the board, but I can, but I won't. Uh, anyhow, uh, what you can do is you get the difference of the cash flow between the two projects each year. You, can, you calculate the difference of the two projects cash flow every year and then calculate the new cash flows IR and that's a crossover rate. Okay, so um, I'll write it down mathematically. IR, this is the R, we don't know. If I, if I do that mathematically, and then it went to this equation. So you see, this is just like a MPV equals to zero's equation. And this R would be the IR. Because uh, M, uh, MPV equals to zero, that rate would be IR. So it's just like you, we're getting, what you can do is just to get the difference of the cash flow between the two projects, and get this new cash flows IR, and that would be the crossover rate because it's the MPV equals to zero. And this equation is the difference of the MPV of the two projects. So and equals to zero. But that's why we can do we can do so. So to get the crossover rate, so create a new cash flow and uh, see it should be how much it should be zero. Um, negative okay so this is a cash flow and uh, uh, it's raw So I was wrong, so I didn't get, oh, uh, no? How much you guys got? I think I an answer. No answer? For which one? Uh, the crossover rate? Get the difference of the cash flow. Yeah, and then you find the net present value of the difference. Yeah, so it should be uh, it should be it should be zero here. Uh, yeah, see, there's a number, twenty one point oh one. That calculator could be something was wrong. Um, And let, let me use uh, my calculator. Uh, if you change the number, change like for example negative, uh, negative, 
Let's see. Um, so you, you still get the same answer. Use the, uh, for, for that calculator, and it doesn't give us the answer. But anyhow, let's see uh, mine. Um, let's see this one. Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't get it. Cause, cause it's based on this is based on some like a, a, a model, and if the model was, was it was because IR is not, there's no equation. You have to try numbers. That's probably why. But anyhow, you see the Excel. Excel give us the answer. Um, <clears throat> so you can give it a try. For example, uh, 21.01. Now let's see this rate equals to this. And um, let's see, 21.01%. Um, let's calculate the MTV. Uh, right, so Yeah, 300, see we say at this, at this uh, crossover rate, 21.01%, both project MPV should be the same, right? So this is a 300, so that's what we, we got. Let's copy it into here. And where did you get the 21% from? Uh, 21%, well just, it's based on the IR. Let, let's, uh, okay. Uh, It's the original is ten percent zero um, four fifty negative. That's where this twenty one come from. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, so so uh, I'm just this is MPV A at twenty one point oh one percent. You know, you see, I'm I'm just trying to confirm, like we really got the uh, when uh, at twenty one point oh one percent and uh, see 307 now let's let's try the second cash flow 650 uh, six See, this is a this is this is MPV B. This is a, it's close because because I'm using twenty one point oh one. It should be like more decimals after that. So you see, that's a crossover rate. At that rate, those MPV will be those MPV will have the same value. But how much is it at that rate? Uh, you will be indifferent to which whichever the project is give you the same MPV. So how to calculate this crossover rate? You get the difference of the cash flow year by year, and you calculate the IR of the new cash flow, and that will be the crossover rate. And you can test it to plug it into the MPV equation of both projects. You see the MPV of both projects are the same. That's crossover rate. We can draw graphs and to show to show that. Uh, let's see, this this is the one cash flow. Uh, you can draw a MPV profile. It just like uh, put MPV and the uh, I uh, and the 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 rate in one graph. You see, so this is.
Let's do project A and project B. And let's draw the MPV profile. And uh, uh, let's uh, rate. Let's use different rate. Um, let's start from um, 10%. And, uh, okay, it's enough. Okay, uh, let me quickly show you. If you can follow me, you can just do and uh, do this too with me. So I'm trying just to calculate MPV. This is a rate. And then uh, I'm just changing the rate and calculate corresponding MPV. And uh, here it is. And you see at around 21%, the two project MPV are the same. So crossover, this is a crossover rate. Um, but let me draw that in a graph. So. And here it is. So you see, this is um, MPV. Profile. So, so you see, uh, so this is a crossover rate. So this is a crossover rate. Uh, if it's if, if the rate falls on the left side of the, uh, the crossover rate, so we should consider the orange color, MPVB. But if the rate is higher than this crossover rate, we will consider the blue one. Whatever the MPV is higher, which one is, whatever it is, like, is the ideal one. So the crossover rate is when the two project MPV are the same. Yeah, so this is the MPV profile. See, we have done almost everything for this. So, so you also see the calculator, sometimes you may have some problems, so you can use the calculator, use Excel. Uh, so this is, that's how we have, we should be doing, we, sh we, have, we have done everything, like uh, I was, plan I know this is a pretty easy chapter, right? Pretty easy chapter. So uh, Tristan, you want to help us or are you tired for the homework? Uh -huh. But Chris, do you want to help him? No? <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just a like, uh, MTV function, IR function, and then for payback you can either work um, mathematically or you can use a calculator. So we can get it all done for this part. Finance is not some horrible uh, subject to to study, right? So that's how you feel. It's easy, right? It's easier than uh, the leadership class, right? Yeah. I just got an uh, email from an admin. They just canceled like half the classes <laughs> because they got scheduling. So took the wind out. Took the wind Which out. Which class is that one? Um. Like, for example, management 401 or something? In the spring? No, in the in fall. In the fall. In and the it's fall. like, I get for graduation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, Tristan, you, you don't want to work with us this time? Um, I mean, I can, I can, I can give it a try. I don't know how hard I'm going to. I'm just trying to figure it out. Well, 
give it a try. Uh, we don't need anybody to be a friend and, and do that. But give it a try. And if I had the answer there. Yeah, but Tristan, you can come to the front and try. It's no, I'm so busier than you come to, to class and it's busier than your work. Your teacher is mean. Wow. Your boss is not that mean. Okay, I just have to figure out how I did it from here to here. NPV, I think. Great, you should add percentage. Oh yeah, yeah. I did this a little, this way a little weird, so let me see if this. This, I guess. No, 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 no. I, I mean, your your functions go down. Your functions should start not be B two two. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and then. No, still not. Still not that. I got number one, but I'm trying to figure out how I did it. The way I did it was. But it should have a cost. If you read the question again, it doesn't have any cost. No, it has it has uh, 100, yeah. but the way I did it was different than how you did it on Excel. So I'm trying to figure out how yeah, I did put, it. Put year zero, negative 100. And then when you get the equation down, then mine plus year zero, plus, plus B3, plus B3. So you have to add your zero, your zero is cash flow. Plus B3, yeah. Your answer is wrong, right? Mm -hmm. I don't. Oh, it's just the ratio is 15, it's not 15.5. Oh, okay, that's probably why it's wrong. I was looking at number the one. Yeah, if you use MPV, okay. yeah, you have to change because you manually typed the rate of your function. Yeah, that's what I did wrong. So you should put your zero schedule. Yeah, I, did it, I didn't do it that way, I did it a different way. I guess this way is actually faster. No, 
No, it has to be rate. Yeah. Year, year one, year one, yeah. You want to year four. Go down one more. Yeah. And then add year zero. That's right, yeah. So is that right? So you I got to, what? Yeah, oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. The that, numbers. yeah, the numbers instead of the. There we go. Yeah. So is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It could be some input. Oh, wait, yeah, I got that. Yeah. Yeah, it could be some input or it's wrong. Yeah. And then this is the rate. So you, sh you should take it because it costs you 50.5 to raise the capital. To break even for this project, uh, you cannot get higher than 7.53, so you got it cheaper. So you make money. To break even, uh, you, you have to just borrow. To make money, you have to get money capital at the lower rate than 17.53. You got it at the lower rate, so you will make money from this project. So. Can you go over how you set up the IRR too for that one? Oh, I just did IRR from year zero to year three. Yeah, for IRR, you have to start from year zeros to last year's cash flow. And, and you cannot put the cash flows one by one separated by the comma. You have to just create yeah. the table. Or oh, you drag have it. to do it. You Is that why it's saying yeah. there? Yeah, you got to drag it. Like this, and if you look, it. you got to drag it all the way. You have to create the table. Yeah. Yeah. But for the net present value, uh, actually, net if you can drag that too. Separated by the comma. Yeah. You can separate by the comma and do that one. But time. I didn't in mine. I did it. I did it completely. I still get the right answer, but it's completely different than this. How it's you do it completely different. I know it's kind of tedious all the way after the work. Oh, you do that. And then I subtract um, the, this, the um, yeah. people there. It's actually longer, actually. I That's what I was kind of confused up there. I don't know how you do this, yeah, but, any, but anyhow, this is the it's way. A, yeah, you create a table of cash flow, and then that's the best way, because you can always change the cash flow if you identify some errors. Yeah. All right. So it will cost you $6,000 to acquire an ice stream truck. Is that your initial? Initial has to be negative. Oh, okay. Even though it didn't say so, it's negative. I guess it wants to know the payback, the amount of time it's going to take to pay it back. Yeah. 